Hello Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. They're showing me a scene from, yeah, I, well, yeah, I feel like it's putting your two cents in, but this is coming out like you're not talking to anybody. Maybe this is something that you've said to somebody before. <laughs> um, yeah, opinions being shot at this person, I feel. They're feeling very defensive. I feel like, you know, you know what it feels like to me is that you said something to this person in the past and just dropped the mic, okay? That's sort of the feeling that I'm getting here. And um, they have a clingy individual that's like, grasping onto their leg but i feel like other people are putting their two cents into something here too and they're showing me scenes from um what movie is it it's an older movie um called tootsie okay and it's with uh i want to say it's dustin hoffman anyway um Yeah, in the movie, um, this Dustin Hoffman poses as like a, a woman, okay, um, to get a part for a movie. And he, he ends up, the character ends up just like brutal, okay, <laughs> brutally honest. And like um, some of the actors hate this person, but everybody else goes wild for this person because they speak the, this person speaking their truth. Uh, they don't even they don't even go off of what the script is. You know what I mean? Dustin Hoffman just like ad libs and just he just belts it out. I can't. I, he says things with a lot of passion, and he speaks the truth. And I feel like that's what this is. You said something to somebody in the past, and it's got them thinking, okay? It's got them thinking. It, it is almost like you said something to them, and you dropped the mic, and that was it. That was the last they heard from you. And I feel like, it, you know, I feel like they did you wrong. They chose somebody else who's clingy over you. I feel like um, they're thinking about some, some things that you said it's got them. I'm telling you, it's got to this person that you got under this person's skin. I don't know what you said to them, but um, I'm actually, you know, it's the feeling of you saying what you had to say, speaking your truth, speaking your mind, putting in your two cents, right? And dropping the mic. Yeah, that's it. And then you were out of the building. Um, yeah, they're, I feel like they're thinking about this now. I feel, honestly, I get the feeling like you taught this person a lot. Um, it's almost like you were the model for, um, some of you could actually be a model since I said that. But, you know, and I don't usually read the Eight of Pentacles like this. But I'm, I'm getting like you taught this person. Like they're seeing something in you. Um, and it's almost like they keep reviewing it in different ways. Whatever you said really has gotten under this person's skin, man. I mean, do you see it's the same picture, only in different colors, okay? This person is literally, they just keep revisiting it and revisiting it. Playing those words that you said over and over and over and over again in their head. Like, seriously, they're, uh, it's kind of starting to drive them a little bit nutty. Um, you're an earth angel here, a possible light worker. One foot in the water, one foot on land. Um, yeah, I feel like there's you're both masculine and feminine energy here. I just feel like there's something like the and the more they study, the more they think about it, the more they realize who you are. Yeah, you really got under this person's skin. I don't know what you said to them, but they're reviewing it now. You know, it could be even something like a text message 
that this person just keeps reading over and over again. It could be something like that. Could be a letter or something that you just, you know, you spoke your truth. And I feel like in doing that, you really, you, you're really making this person look at themselves is really the feeling that even though they're painting, you know, you're here in the background, but I feel like you're making this person really dig, dig deep into themselves. Yeah, judgment. Judgment. I feel like they're kind of self-judging themselves. You know what I mean? I know that sounds weird. That came out wrong. Um, they're looking at themselves here, looking at their own character. Yeah, with the Page of Pentacles, they're looking at their own character here. Yeah, you you really got to this person. I'm to, I'm feeling their energy, and it's almost like they literally what whatever it is they can't stop reviewing it. <clears throat> You know, and I feel like this, it's making this person feel very alone. It's making this person feel lonely. No matter who they have around them, they, they, it's almost like they're kind of on shutdown mode. Yeah, man. You're, and honestly, you could even have like a podium out here. Um, whatever you're putting out there on the internet, that kind of thing, you're speaking your truth. You really are. You're putting forth your, you're putting in your two cents and people are loving it. Just like Tootsie. I'm telling you, this is Tootsie. <laughs> you're Tootsie. Okay. <laughs> yeah. People are loving it because whatever you're saying, you're saying with a lot of passion, you're saying it's coming from, um, the innermost part of you, right? Um, it's coming from your soul. You could be a guide for other people, an empath, a spiritual healer, something like that. Out here having a total victory. People are celebrating. This is Tootsie, I'm telling you. Doesn't it have something like that in the movie? I haven't seen that movie for a while. I mean, it's an old movie, too. It's like from, isn't it from like the 70s or something? <laughs> I don't I don't know. Anyway, th this is what it's like though. You're very celebrated. People are loving what you're doing, loving what you're saying because it's really coming from your heart and soul. And you're not holding anything back. And I feel like that's the same with this person. Yeah, look. You're out in the spotlight. I feel you're um exposing things too. You're ex you're just you're speaking your truth. That you're speaking your truth and you're meaning everything that you say and people are really digging it. Yeah, there's, um, and there's something about you did the same thing with this person. Um, maybe that was the last thing you said to them or something like that. And it has, it's really changing this person. They, they can see how powerful you are, how powerful your words are. Um, your voice, uh, there's a, you have a skill and ability um, to break through barriers and really make people take a good, hard look at themselves. And um, you're exposing things and you're correct. And you know it. Look at that cute little smile you've got on your face. You're very intuitive here with the Queen of Cups. Extremely spiritual and intuitive person. And you have gotten through to this person. You've gotten through to them. And you do it, you get through to a lot of people because what you say makes sense. You know? You're helping to guide a lot of, a lot of people and they need that right now in their lives. So, yeah, I'm feeling that, you know, that star energy here, earth angel energy, we're talking about a light worker here. You're on, you're on your path. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're divinely led. And the divine has put you in the spotlight and everybody's loving you. Like, um, you could be getting like, um, a lot of followers or, 
uh, you know, like you could say you're out here on YouTube, right? As a, as a tarot card reader or a spiritualist, you know, I feel like you, you've got a lot of people um, joining your soul tribe. You've got a lot of people who are grateful and thankful and excited and enthusiastic and celebrating you. So this person can see it clearly. King of Swords energy, I feel like they want to lay down this sword. You see how he's holding that sword? I usually don't see that in this card. And I feel like it's almost as if he's ready to present you with the, with the truth. Okay? It's almost like he's going to take the sword and hand it to you. Yeah, I feel like this person, um, they're one of your fans. This person is one of your biggest fans here. And they know that you gave them the truth. You get And look at the butterfly pen. It's changed this person. I'm telling you. Thank you, Divine. <laughs> Thank you, Divine. It's changed this person. Very deeply collective. You've changed this person um, very deeply, okay? Because of the things that you said. You're like, I know, <laughs> right? I know. Yeah, because of something that you said to them, okay? That they can't forget that they keep replaying in their mind over and over again. Yeah, look on the bottom of the deck. Queen of Swords energy. I haven't even shuffled it yet. You know, the Queen of Swords, she wants the truth, but she also will speak the truth. And that's what you're doing, I feel. This is too many cards, really, but I feel like... Um, you don't, I feel like, honestly, when I'm, I'm hearing no apologies, that's what I heard when I, I'm hearing no apologies, um, like, you don't, you're not sorry for what you said. I feel like you're pretty proud of yourself here for speaking your mind, and I feel like whatever it is that you're doing, whatever you're creating, I feel like... Um, it's put you on the Queen of Pentacles throne. So whatever you're putting out here, I feel like you may do it for work and it's made you extremely financially stable. Okay, extremely financially stable, yeah. Empress energy. And this person, I feel like they want to commit to you now. Now it all makes sense. It's almost like all the puzzle pieces are falling into place for this person. They see you as the one now, okay? And now they're falling apart because they know everything you said was true. Everything you said was true. They can't stop thinking about it. This is replaying it over and over and over again in their head. I cannot make this up, guys. And whatever it is that you're doing, there it is again. Whatever it is you're doing, I feel like um, people, you know, you're making sense to other people and you're resonating with other people because you've experienced things before. You know the truth. You can see things from a different kind of perspective, maybe because you've been through so much in the past. You see things differently. And when you have a truth to be told, man, you speak it. And there are no apologies. And that's the kind of passion that actually that's new, fresh energy. It's fresh. And it changes things. It brings about a change in other people. And this is just what you do, you know. But yeah, I feel like it's made you very independent, very abundant. Um, actually, I want to pull a few more. <laughs> I, I just don't want to stop quite yet. I feel like this person sees you as the one that they want for sure. Two of cups here on the bottom of the deck. Emperor, this person wants to boss up here. They want a new beginning. They're, you're enlightening this person. I'm telling you, you're turning them into the magician. They're realizing, you know what? 
um, they've got some abilities too here, but they're still under judgment. Oh, it's because they need to walk away from that. I forgot. I kept forgetting about this clingy individual here. <laughs> Your person's not really thinking about them much. Okay. But yeah, they are the situation. They know what it is that they want, that you're enlightening this person and enlightening them. Um, to their own abilities and their own powers because this person can be powerful um, if they were to boss up and do their work right but see the and they are they're having an enlightenment here and you are opening them up to their spirituality and their their abilities and 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 yeah their spirituality ace of cups but the situation is still under judgment because they're still with this person. They have to walk away from something first before they get this new beginning, before they can have this two of cups. See, because there's two feminine energies in this picture. So this person needs to, I feel like they've made a choice of what they want, but they need to take that action. And they need to walk away from something else before they have this new love. Otherwise, they will lose you and they'll never be able to get over it. Okay? It'll end in, in nothing but burdens that they'll have to carry for the rest of their days. Man, you really got under this person's skin collective. You've opened their mind. All they do is revisit this. Um, yeah, the higher font is like, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? You're under judgment. Now is the time to choose your path. What's it going to be? Are you going to are you going to come towards the collective? And if you do, you've got to walk away from something else. Yeah. I feel like this person's getting angry. They're getting upset. They're feeling rushed. Um, I feel like they're about to cut somebody else out as well with the Knight of Swords. Because they want, they want their wish fulfillment. Yeah. Because they want their wish fulfillment. They want their Ten of Cups. I feel like this is, they're feeling like they have to do this fast as well. So I feel like um, this person's going to come towards you after that. It's going to start happening really quickly. This, it changes this energy that you've got. It changes everything. And I, I feel like, um, yeah, this person, they want a new beginning. They want this Ace of Cups with you. They've, they're having this awakening. They're, re, they're manifesting here with the magician. And, yeah, they want this. They don't want to pass this up. You're their wish fulfillment. You're their Ten of Cups. They're, they're starting a spiritual path here as well. All right, so what, what else can you show us now? We've, we've got the Mystic Martians deck, right? Predator, tyrannical, survival. I just feel like this uh, kind of like, it's like an angry, frustrated energy coming in fast, right? Um, you could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, it's almost like Beauty and the Beast here, you know? We've got this kindness and compassion with your energy here. And um, and we've got this predator kind of, you know, this is kind of being a brute here on one side. I feel like this is how it was. This per You were so free-flowing and, and so intuitive and very spiritual. Look at all of that water. Okay, very peaceful, very kind, compassionate. Um, and I feel like uh, this person was kind of a beast before. Like maybe they were very inconsiderate. You know, they, were, they, could have been, they may have had a tendency to be cold or harsh or rude. 
they could have saw you as being naive, you know, kind of like maybe easy prey, that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Because this is a predator here. But I feel like you've made this person reflect in the, look at, as I say reflect, look at what this person is doing. They're sitting here thinking about the spiritual side of things. Whatever it was that you said, whatever it is that you're out here teaching, okay? And they're reflecting on this. This is changing your person. Oh, my gosh. Your person is, they've gone from kind of um, being a beast, right? I'm, I'm kind of picking up the beauty and the beast thing here. Being a beast to being spiritual, Listening to messages, really being a deep thinker about all of this, working on their chakras, <laughs> you know, they may be with somebody else, but that person there that they're trying to figure out a Rubik's Cube. And I just feel like um, they're not vibing at the same level anymore with whoever they're near right now. So, I mean, they're, they're, there's neither one of them are interested in the other. Okay, do you see that? So wherever they are, they don't want to be there anymore. I feel like they're just thinking about you, but they've gone from, they've gone from this collective to this. The thinking man, the spiritually minded person. This is, I mean, they're still wearing green, right? <laughs> they're still green. But they, you've changed this person into a spiritual being. That you brought on their awakening. You know, good job. All right, give me one more for the collective. I didn't realize this reading would be so long. I'm so sorry. Give me one more for the collective. But I wanted to show you guys the decks. Um, and look up that movie if you guys want to. It's an old movie called Tootsie with Dustin Hoffman. That's the scene that they keep giving me. Well, it's several scenes that they keep giving me. Um, all about you speaking your mind. Really. Controlling drama, conflict of interest. I feel like they think you're a bit intimidating right now in this energy. Like, it's almost like they need to come in, but they're scared to come in here. They may still be trying to control the situation somewhat, but they're also realizing they just can't keep doing that anymore. It's not working for them anymore. And, and they, I feel like they know they're under judgment. It's time for this person to decide and take some action because I really do feel um, that frustration and that feeling of being rushed with your person. But they are fairly intimidated by your energy, okay? Because you're their teacher now. They realize it. You're their teacher. You know? So they've got to come towards you and make things right. It's all very difficult for this person, but they're, they're doing it. Yeah. Anyway, collective, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you guys. Um, remember to enter to win one of, one of my the six fabulous decks that I'm giving away. Um, stay till the end of the video and I'll show you all of the decks on the table. And uh, yeah, I, I, if you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out. Hello everyone, um, I'm popping in at the end of the videos to remind you guys that there is going to be a Christmas holiday giveaway, yay! Um, these are the fabulous, wonderful decks that I'm giving away to six lucky winners here on December 24th. The names of the winners are going to be announced on December 24th, you know. Um, so yeah, um, we've got the Pulp Tarot, the Astro Matrix, the Mystic Martians Oracle, the Garbage Pail Kids Tarot, the After Tarot, and as a bonus, 
deck, um, I included the Cat Tarot because it was so dang popular last year. Okay, so um, yeah, all you have to do, you know, show your support, right? Um, you can click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and then um, comment in the in the comment section below um, the deck, the name of the deck you would like to try to win for the holiday giveaway. Okay. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to announce the winners on December 24th, okay? Um, yeah, this is to show my appreciation to everybody because you're always so cool and awesome to me out here. You really are. You really, truly are. I, I don't get this kind of support. Like, you know, in my life, you guys have shown me the most support out of everyone in my life, and I'm just so grateful for all of you. Um, so yeah, I'm at the giveaway I'm super excited about because I'm giving away some of my favorite decks here, you know. Um, that these are the decks that I use in my own readings. They're all brand new in packaging, but these are copies, right, of my favorites. So yeah, just pick the deck that you would like, type it in the comment section, and you'll be entered to win in the drawing on December 24th, okay?